Hey folks and welcome back to my FPL strategy. Before we look ahead to game week 3, let's take a look at how my team performed for game week 2. Behind the sticks, I did in fact optimistically start Jed Stair from Aston Villa. However, with the new signing and debut start for Martinez meant unfortunately McCarthy's zero point off the bench was unavoidable. Nevertheless, it was a solid return in defence with Liverpool keeping a clean sheet. James Justin scored a goal against West Brom and despite Southampton conceding five goals, Walker Peters managed to pick an assist in a 5-2 defeat against Spurs. A mixed bag in midfield to say the least. Trading Mane for Fernandes proved to be costly, with Mane scoring two goals against Chelsea, whilst United lacked sharpness in their defeat against Crystal Palace. St. Maximin picked up a knock against Brighton, forcing an early substitute for the French winger, whilst Tripper captain Aubameyang recorded an underwhelming one assist against West Ham. But the saving grace this week was Mr. Sun scoring not two, not three, but four goals against Southampton. Absolute legend. Up front, things got even better, with Richarlison recording three assists against West Brom, whilst Mitrovic scored two goals against Leeds. In the end for Game Week 2, after a disappointing Game Week 1, I got a well needed 85 points, improving my ranking by 2 million places. Let the games begin. Moving on to my transfer thoughts for the upcoming Game Week, I have already made my next move. Considering Arsenal's tough fixtures and in order to beat the price rise, I've reluctantly transferred Bamiyak for Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin looked very sharp against Wolves, having spent the majority of last season in central midfield, the Belgian was deployed as an out and out number 10 in the 3-1 victory recording a goal and an assist. In addition, capitalising on Wolves' good run of fixtures, I've taken the hit and brought in pole dance for injured St Maximi. Deployed up front and priced at 5.5 mil, the Portuguese winger could offer great value. He had a strong performance against City, picking up an assist and on another day could have easily scored. However, there is a slight rotation risk if Wolves end up buying Douglas Costa. For priced up 5.5 mil, I think it's a risk worth taking. The captain sees a toss between Mr. Reliable Kevin De Bruyne and Chelsea's new signing Timo Werner. At the moment, I'm actually leaning towards Werner. Chelsea are up against a West Brom side a side that's conceded the most big chances so far. Note the team on screen is not locked in, but if you'd like to see my final team selection, be sure to follow me on Twitter. All my details in the description below. Likewise, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit the like button and get subscribed. Otherwise, this is my FPL strategy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.